Welcome. This is Brenda Harris greeting you in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Have you ever had a thorn in the flesh? I have had a thorn in the flesh, an actual thorn in the flesh for about two weeks. I was working on clearing some land and there was this one section that had a bunch of vines and thorns in it. It was horrific to clear all that out. I kept getting these thorns in my hands. I guess I should have been wearing thicker gloves than I did, but these particular gloves I really enjoy using, and they were a little thin for the job, I think. But I would go home that evening when I would work and I would get the thorns out if I felt any little stickers anywhere. Well, this one particular thumb, I think I got a thorn stuck in there. And so I would go home and I'd scrub that area. But then the next day, I would still feel a little sharp pain in there, and so I would go clean it out again, and I started praying to the Lord. There's a verse in Mark, and it talks about Jesus saying, if you say to that mountain, be thou removed and be cast into the sea, and you don't doubt, then you will have what you say. So I started quoting that scripture because it seemed like a mountain to me. It just seemed so impossible for that sticker to be out of my thumb because it was just bugging me so much, hurting me day by day. And so I would work on it and I would think, well, I don't think that sticker is in my thumb anymore. I got this needle out, and I was using the peroxide to cleanse it, sanitize it, so no infection would get in there, and I would pick at the area with the needle. And after a while, it felt like the thorn was gone. Well, I woke up this morning, and I felt that little sharp pain down in there. I said, I guess I must have missed it. So I started praying. Have you ever had something bother you in your life so bad and you were praying to the Lord and it just seemed like you weren't getting the answer to your prayer? That's the way I was feeling this morning. And I started crying, really crying to the Lord. I said, Lord, I don't want to have to go to the doctor over this. And maybe an x-ray would have found that thorn I don't know but I just wanted it to be gone and I didn't want to have to go through that pain anymore so I went out to work and I thought maybe after I finish working then if I have to I guess I'll go to the doctor and I was out there working and I finally got my work done on the trail and my mama came along and she said I figured you were out here because she saw that Laddie was out of the pen and I like to take Laddie mama's dog with me when I'm out working he enjoys getting out of the pen and so that's what I had done today I had taken him with me and my mom and I were enjoying our walk, and when we came back close to the house, well, she said she was watching this health video about castor oil, about making a poultice, and so that perked my interest, and I asked her about it, so I thought, well, I'll go home, and I'll try one more time to get that thorn, that little sticker out of my thumb. 
and then I'll put castor oil on it. So I did that, and I was just praying to the Lord, saying, by your stripes I am healed. Just praising the Lord. I remember one time watching this video about this man who was going through a horrific time. His mother was dying, and he was so distraught and upset. And he just went and got his guitar, and he started praising God. He started singing praise songs to God. And did you know, his mother was healed. She didn't die. And I always remembered that testimony. That's why I like to praise the Lord when I'm going through something. Because when you extol the Lord, He hears you. And the scripture says that He hears our cries. And so I was crying and I was praising the Lord too. And I got that needle out and I sanitized it with peroxide and I put the peroxide on my thumb and I started picking at that one little area and pretty soon I saw two little dark tiny little dark things that came out and it was on my thumb in a different area so I wiped it off and then I rubbed my thumb Rubbed all over it, and I didn't feel that sticker anymore. I didn't feel that thorn causing me pain. So I just started praising the Lord, thanking Him. I believe my thumb is healed, and that I won't have to go to the doctor about it. But I just thought I would share that with you about giving praise to God, giving thanks to Him. Even when you're kind of living in doubt over it. But give him praise. And quote the scripture. And he will work your miracles that you need. I really believe that God still works miracles today. And I sure thank him for healing my thumb. I give him great praise and great glory. And I pray over each one of you. I pray that God will give you what you need. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray this. And I believe that God is working in each viewer's life, bringing about what you need. Because remember, God loves you. And He's never going to leave you nor forsake you. And I would like to have a uh, communion together if you would like to do this. So get your bread and your grape juice, and we'll have communion together. Lord Jesus, we thank you for what you did on the cross. And... You said that blessed are we when we have communion. We take this bread, which represents your body. You said, this is your body. And Lord, you bore all of those stripes on your body that we might be healed. I pray for each viewer that they are healed in their bodies, minds, and souls. In the mighty name of Jesus, we take the bread, your body. And now, Lord, we drink of your blood. You said, this is your blood. Lord, your blood cleanses us from all sin. Your shed blood that you shed on Calvary. Oh, thank you that you did, Lord, that you redeemed us from the pit. And we drink of your blood right now and we trust in you and your word. And 
In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Father. We thank you for everything that you've done for us. And Lord, we thank you for the mighty thing that you're doing for this nation, that you are saving our nation. Oh, praise you, Jesus. Thank you that our nation is not going under. But our nation is victorious because of what you have done for us. And November the 5th is going to be a glorious day in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.